So we arrived in Sifnos, we walked around for a bit to check out the area, we checked out the buses, we rented a car. So our hotel was right outside of the main city of Apollonia, which is also the capital of Sifnos, and we were able to take a five minute drive over to Apollonia. So once we figured all that out, we decided to hit the beach, Plathis Giallos, which I'm probably butchering that name. And this beach was just stunning. It was a lot of sand, a lot of different restaurants. It, none of the beaches were overcrowded the entire time. It was just a perfect amount of people and things to do and places to eat. We found this amazing restaurant called Yalos. It was just top of the line beautiful drinks. We got fresh fish that was cut for us. The most amazing oysters I've ever had probably in my life. Since it's so hot throughout the day, you can't really do much and everyone basically either goes to the beach all day or stays inside until dinner. Went to dinner and then went to bed because we were exhausted from a full day of travel. This dinner was phenomenal. We had this fried cheese that was a mix of two cheeses. One was like a local goat cheese. We got sardines. We got these chippy croquettes and it was just 10 out of 10. Here's the gelato, which was also 10 out of 10. Always good. So we didn't really film much, but I do have these photos of dinner. Get ready for beach day two. Yay, we're going to Bathi, which is one of the more famous beaches here in Zeefnos. Let's see. Take the first bite. Very fucking good. Curse. Let's try the pork or the lamb pork. Let's see the inside. Mm. Nice. I love how everything here comes with lemon. We already eat our fella Greek salad. Orange wine, a little bitter. So this restaurant was actually called Manolis Taverna, which I'm probably butchering that as well. That oven they use every Sunday to make this traditional chickpea soup. And we didn't get it, which I regret now, but we weren't there on Sunday, so we couldn't have any. <laughs> Look at the sunset. Just walking around our little island. Or a little town up in the top of the island. Is this Artemis? Ar 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 Artemis? Artemis. Ar so we're looking for a place to chill. We're not really that hungry. Our lunch was huge. We're just taking a walk around our Airbnb and I mean around our hotel. <laughs> it feels like an Airbnb. It's like very small boutique style. No need to go to Mykonos, Santorini when you have Seafnos. <laughs> it's gorgeous. It's quiet. It's low key. All the olive trees. We saw olive trees, orange trees. We saw lemon trees, pomegranate. They were so cute. You wouldn't even know they were there. Hi. You're right. This has to be a farm. There's, I feel like all of these islands are just like this whole island looks like one giant farm. Obviously, an olive garden. Not yeah. The restaurant. So we decided we wanted to do something adventurous, and we booked this really interesting looking Airbnb experience. And we got to milk goats on the top of a mountain at Anthe's farm.
So after our goat milking adventure, we decided to check out another beach. And this one was called a Pocofoto. I have no idea how to say any of these names, but basically it was this cute little beach. Um, I still think I like some of the others better, but it was obviously beautiful. I would say a pro tip is decide if you want umbrellas and chairs or if you're okay with just having a towel and being in the sun or bringing an umbrella. Obviously, we were traveling from out of town. We didn't have an umbrella, so it will get very hot. So if you find a beach like this without chairs and umbrellas, just be ready. <laughs> then for lunch, we just got a few, I think these were kebabs. Kebabs are different from souvlaki, which is mincemeat on a stick. And do not forget a side of tzatziki with everything. So since we had a pretty late lunch that day, we decided to wait to have dinner and go check out the sunset. And this happened to be right in the center of Babylonia. And then Gavin crashed his drone, so we kind of just stopped and went to dinner, and we were exhausted from the sun and just the whole day. And this dinner was definitely not our favorite. We did not like it. It was very gourmet and not very good. And then we actually had one more day and night in Seafnos, but I got a very severe allergic reaction from this very Greek yogurt, and so we didn't film. But, I mean, look at the yogurt. You would have risked the reaction, too. <laughs> but that concludes our Chief Nose vlog. Stay tuned for Crete.